and we are good. We are rolling. I have hurt my fingers somehow in the first five seconds of recording. Incredible. It is unfortunate. Mm. I hurt my finger, but I trapped it in a door, so I know why it's hurting. Oh, I know why it's hurting. I, I stuck it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, best way to put it is, these cables I've got for like the wireless headset, they've got like a little hard covering for <clears> the <throat> USB part to protect Oi. it. And I stuck my finger in that, and apparently it was <laughs> too tight, so now my finger's just tingling like hell. Lol. You're dumb. It's one of those things that's like, curious, stab. Hmm. That didn't work. Ugh. Well, that's a new name I've never seen show up on my frickin' deliveries list before. Oh. Usually, when I get my prescription delivered, it's yeah. just, oh, you're getting a package from Lloyd's Direct. You're getting a package from Metabolic Healthcare. <laughs> They're skipping the middle person. Pretty much. Oh yeah, that's a th that's a thing. Uh, apparently they're closing down the pharmacy in Asta. Yeah. Because hardly anyone used it, so they're like, script close it down. Don't need it anymore. Oh, that's why we got my toothpaste prescription. Yeah. <laughs> Before you start, lay watch that. Don't yeah. say anything about it. Just react to it. Uh, I won't say anything about that, but I will say this. Uh... Did you see what Glenn just posted in the Chocobo chat? I don't look at the Chocobo, uh, Chocobo uh, chat often. I'm only really in there for formality reasons. And I'll Let go... me just uh, paste the image to you then. Because uh, they posted that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you want to know something? Uh, there's bigger ones. Yeah, so. Screen yourself on a look mm -hmm. back to the Dark Tides of Room Terror. Or as we're calling it now, what time is it, Rebecca? I... It's fucking <laughs> wither time. I thought Jack was about to do it. We're going, it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's, it's Wednesday, Wednesday I will find <laughs> I mean, if it was Wednesday, I wouldn't be here. I'd be keep retreat running me other again. Same. I think that's a good point. Are we getting Ben tomorrow, or is Ben still on order? I have no fucking idea, but did we level up last time? For this game? For Rune for... Uh, we're, no. uh, thank you. Uh, we you don't, we you... level up for Devil Darlings, not uh, Dark No, yeah. no, not Devil Darlings, but I mean for Wednesday. Uh, no, no, I think I said I was going to let you all have a level. After the slime thing. Okay. Oh. Because Jack really wants to get those slimes done so he can get a flavor from the dwarves. Oh. They're just the right height, you know? And I really want my Blood Hunter subclass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, which going? does remind me, I will need. Um, if you need Hunter. help with that still, Rebecca, we will need to run nice. through that before next Tuesday. Yeah. Cannot yeah. wait for Ally to go Ghost Hunter in this game where we have. Kind of yet to meet a ghost. It doesn't really revolve around ghost or undead for the most part. It's just holy fuck ton of radiant damage. She's just doing it just in case yeah, I start ghost doing my cross. Finding. She's just going ghost on in case I start doing my crossover bullshit again, so she has an excuse to kill the white lady. Yeah. I still can't believe we're getting a Jeff film. Like. For some reason, I still play them. So, last time on the Dark Tides of Room Terror, uh, <laughs> Delris okay. and Alexander had some hearts to heart about what's going to happen after Delris had a vision of the potential future, so to speak, and the danger that will come. <laughs> Not from Lysandra, but from Volibear potentially wanting to make Alexander his avatar, his vessel, so to speak. Oh, and found yeah. out that the person that they should probably try to seek out to talk to is the same person that the twins wanted to seek out anyway about their form issue. I, but also I spent like half an hour yelling at a god. You did. And then you also spent half an hour, another half an hour yelling at a technically a different god. <laughs> yeah. 
and then you spent another half an hour yelling because Gwen appeared and dropped Pinkle off and said no gifts backs. Oh, I wasn't really yelling to Pinkle. I was just like, oh god, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was more just a oh, it's back. You managed to drop everyone else off who wasn't being dropped off at uh, the Freljord. Oh, their respective places. oh, okay. Okay. What's up? Oh. Well, I just vanished into the void. You okay, Jack? Is he gone? He gone. Jeez. No, that was... Alright. <laughs> um... I believe I have to echo his uh, comments on. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so Lysandra's taken Alexander, frozen him. <laughs> also, uh, I, I may have just bought Baldur's Gate. So. Terrible, join us, join us. <laughs> I would say join us, but then I remember I'll how long it, it took later. me to download. Oh. It should be fine. Welcome back. It'll be going in the background through the game. Yeah. Uh, are you okay there? You good? Oof. What happened? I could pause the recording if you don't want it to be on the recording. Jack, my, my boy, we cannot hear you if you're trying to speak. I mean, I'm also going to have to edit these parts out anyway, just to keep it flowing better and so people don't start panicking when they listen, but I'll hit pause now just in case. And, and there we go, we're good, we're back. Uh, things are sorted, it was just a graphics driver crash. Nothing to worry about. You fucking, you fucking what, you fucking what, in a iron what. I don't sound for everyone else, because on mine it was fucking chaos. <laughs> you sound great. Um... You sound, we, wonderful. you sound good now. Quite literally, all we heard from there was, oh no, and then you vanished. <laughs> no, it was like, oh, okay, and then you were gone. Yeah, both my screens flashed, and then when my screen came back, my resolution was about half the size, and it was yeah. just my desktop with the Discord, Spotify, and Steam emblems just randomly dotted around in a fucking it was like something out of a fucking creepy pasta i can't make that <laughs> up and then the discord holes started bleeding the but, holes uh, of discord opened uh, yes and cthulhu looked out uh no it wouldn't be cthulhu it would be like mario or something it would be the mario no, it, the super brothers no it has it has to be yog okay it has to be yog Peppino looked out and went, wow. Can you please stop fighting about what Eldritch Being is in my computer? This is yeah. a very strange thing to argue about. It's <laughs> Sonic.exe. No, we already know who it is, it, given it's a uh, small group. What That's did the... I just say? It's stop next. it. <laughs> it's next. Look, 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 look. <laughs> anyways, anyways, y'all are fucking wrong. It's Yig, and you all can piss off. So... <laughs> You all managed to drop everyone off where they needed to be before heading to the Freljord with who was remaining on the ship. And basically getting an escort into the castle by Trundle, as you did land. So we are picking up with the group, marching quite literally into the home of the Urquhart's enemy. I mean... Everyone did say that she may try and betray you all, but at the moment, everything seems fine. No one's trying to attack you. No one's trying to grab you and take you away. You're getting an she's escort gonna, from the trolls. If she, look, if she's going to betray us, she's going to betray us when we're in her throne room. Like, that'd be the intelligent thing to do once we're literally right in front of her then she can fully betray us. Because now, not only she only got the two Iceborne that was coming to meet her, we've got fucking Sejuani. And is Olaf an Iceborne as well? I believe like, so. Yes, he is. So, like, yes. we're, bringing, we're bringing her double the Iceborne she wanted right to her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's what I'd fucking do, and I'm also royalty, so I feel like in this kind of situation, 
you know, you know, we just uh, do as the very audience do. I'm glad other people are having to suffer through this. That me and Ryan have oh, to line. Every <laughs> single sound effect at once. This isn't the dark tides of Rune Terror. <laughs> It's it's telling me this is the Dark Tides of Rune Terror. I can't help but notice that this is the Lost Mine of Fandelver. Yeah, I'm in Double uh, Dark uh, for some reason. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm in the right chat. And I want to Double Darlings. Do you want to do you want to try that again? Roll twenty. Yeah, roll twenty went. Fucking... Roll twenty went. Oh, it really did. <laughs> Uh, so as you are being led into what is essentially the main fire, I guess, of this castle, uh, I'm going to need a perception roll from one certain person. Mariah, perception roll. Okay. I forgot I still have Billy's sheet on here. Hello. We'll start playing there we go. and Billy instead. You see an um, interesting sign. That just catches your eye, just over to the left, kind of like half buried in the ice. Some of the ice started to grow over it now. The pics are sandwiched in the middle of it, with a bit of what seems to be fairly Odian text underneath. <laughs> You're unsure what that is, because I don't think you speak fairly Um, but, no. But you are in a party with fairly Odians. I don't even think I speak fairly audience. I didn't know that existed until two minutes ago. Um, so if you're from the fairly audience, you speak fairly yeah. audience. Easy enough to do. Yeah, yeah so I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to ask the entire, the army. entire group, does anyone speak fairly audience to read like this the entire, the entire army plus Alexander and Alari raise their hand. As well as Trundle. Yeah. Like, right, I, Alexander does not raise his hand. Alexander is not paying attention. Trundle like, will just be like, okay. Man we on are, a warpath. <laughs> we, we had to uh, install that after a bit of an incident last time. Uh, apparently, one of me men died from a sandwich, so we've had to ban him. What? You know, I don't really fucking remember that, but I know what you're talking about. Slow turn. <laughs> As an eggplant sandwiches with a vile things, you ever heard of a fucking eggplant parmesan? Uh, just, just this quick reminder for you: you fed a, you fed the doom sandwich to someone, Rebecca, and killed them. Oh my god, I forgot about <laughs> the doom sandwich. Oh, yeah, the I doom did. sandwich, the doom sandwich. <laughs> so sandwiches yeah. are now banned in this place. Good job she doesn't have another Doom sandwich. Yet. Yet. <laughs> I can't even remember where you got it from. I just remember it was from a roll. Just a loot check, I think. I think it was. Just might like have a been loot from thing. the. Uh, oh, might have God. honest to God been from that underwater dungeon. But anyway. It could, it could have been. It was either from the underwater dungeon or it was from the cavern thing. But yes, yeah. you are led along. There seems to be. The usual, like, trolls in here, like the mutated trolls, as well as the uh, the armor clad guards of Lissandra in here, as well, as they just stood by. None of them seem to be making any moves towards you, and it does seem like the trolls are standing before them. So, if they were even to try anything, the trolls are probably interrupted at the moment. Alexander just marches forward on a on, on his own personal little war path. Very little distracts him, very little interests him. Less of a less ignorance of what's going on and more uh, uh, just just hyper fixating on what he has come to claim. Noticing Nick. this, uh Sejuani will turn to Alari, I believe it's out at the moment. Yeah. She'll turn to Alari and be like, I sent some of me scouts out to try and find Udia's location for you for when this is done. Ah, that would be good, thank you. Although, if what I overheard is true, we may need him sooner than that. 
I'm hoping we don't, but... Do you really think she'd try and spring this trap? I don't have much hope that she wouldn't. Her goals seem to be quite clear. Trap our kind in ice to keep those void creatures asleep. I mean, at this point it could also just be retaliation if those dogs decide to act up on their own. Mm. Well, I don't particularly think she cares about what happens to her thralls, in all honesty. I think she just cares that the Iceborne she has stay asleep. And as you so. continue <laughs> marching forward, there are two large doors just up ahead, with a troll at either side. And as soon as the block eyes of Trundle, Trundle will give the motion, and the doors will be pushed open into the throne room where you first met Lysandra. So we just sat there on her throne. Yet again, the pillars of true ice containing the ice board flanking either side. She'll just look ahead. So you return with very little casualties, I see. Alexander has completed task laid out before him. In fact, allow Alexander to rescind that. Alexander has completed task laid out before him with flying colors. Your void problem is no more down in Sharima. Well, I would we have destroyed it. creatures far beyond the size that you would find on this plane most of the time. I would consider flying colors maybe a flawless victory, but... Uh... Still, even with that, you have passed what I asked you to And do. we have confirmed that they are, in fact, destructible, slayable, <laughs> defeatable. Those forms are. The ones under the ice are more advanced. You haven't tried. But that is not what Alexander is here to fight today. Alexander is here to get his half of the deal that you laid out before him. Alexander know. deals with your little purple problem in the deserts. She'll, Alexander gets his wife back. She'll get up from her throne and just as she heads over to Border Pillars. If you knew about the tale of the Bale Strays, you would actually argue that we did try once and it didn't work against them. And this was Perhaps specialist weapons it... made to try and fight them. If Alexander was not sort of on edge from just simply being around you, Alexander would love to listen. But Alexander has fought long and hard for his reward. His reward being a human being that you have in prison. Well, I feel you are not quite the same, but whatever. Fairly you are still human, well... I know what I meant. Yes, I know what you mean as well. Yes, so just... not to be rude, but we would just we would like to collect our comrade now. She'll just clear some of the frost away from the front of the trice. I believe it was this one. No, uh, the female, a certain chieftain, I believe she is. I presume this is the correct one. That sounds about right. <laughs> uh, you looking through the to, through the ice? Of course. Yes, this is indeed your wife. I'm keeping a very close eye on Lysandra to make sure she doesn't pull anything funny. That is her, that is Siri. She's going to make a perception check to see if she spots Olari doing this. I'm not doing anything aggressive, I'm just keeping a very close eye. Oh yeah, but I'm assuming it's not like aggressive stances, but I'm assuming it's like the eye squint to like a hmm. Well, yeah, she doesn't trust her. Yeah, so it's just... Not She'll far, she can over. throw her. Relax. I'm not dumb enough to try anything when you've got a literal army there. As much as I have an mm. army of my own, half of that army seems to be on your side at the moment. 
That is what happens when you earn their camaraderie, especially when you are fighting such a monstrous foe. Besides, also, no, nothing fucking worse than fighting a war in your living room. Just saying. Who said that? We, we, we brought an eggplant. Yeah, it was not my choice. <laughs> I am the eggplant king! And I'm going back into hair now. <laughs> Mario pipe noises. Do, do, do. <laughs> Forgive me for being cautious, but you do lock me and mine in ice quite frequently. For the better of this world, yes. There will, there is, has to be a better way than stealing one's autonomy. Well, how did you manage to defeat those void creatures? Most of them through brute force. And then our friends forced the big one back through. The so what you're trying to come through. So what you're saying is it's fine for you to sacrifice. But not these. because we they chose to be they chose that sacrifice Should draw my fingers. I know for a fact that most of these people didn't <laughs> I saw that ball drop for a second <laughs> Should that draw my me. fingers like don't worry about that <laughs> Should draw my fingers on the ice pillar how much of a monster do you think I am All I know is that people have gone missing for a very long time and ended up in your eyes. How many would you say are here? 40 at least? 45? How many it is those... easy. It, it is easy to simply look at it as simply 40, 45 souls, Lysandra. But you, mis you, you, you misunderstand the families you've broken up. And the you... confusion that you have sown by not making it clear where they have gone. And you I am not point... saying that your cause is not noble. I understand the threat that you are facing. And you missed the point that I was about to bring up. How many of those do you think gave themselves to this cause? And how many didn't? How My point is not that some may not have themselves. chosen the sacrifice, but it's being given that option. Not like when you came to our ship and demanded that we came with you to be locked in ice. Not by using a me. show of force to demand they come. Not yes, by sending your thralls to settlements and terrifying the populace. She'll there is a difference between choice and coercion. She'll turn her gaze at that point towards Sejuani. And how many of those raids on those settlements were not just were not to take people, but reprisal for attacks on us? Oh dear. Oh, listen, Lysandra, I understand that there is a little bit to every argument right here. However, this is not the way. This is not the way of the frail Yordians. This is not the way, They're not even just of the Winter's Claw. It is simply not feasible to keep this up. Now, I just want my wife back, but I am sure, I am sure, that this is a threat that we all can agree is one that must be dealt with. We can return to this point under more mutual ground. But for now, Lysandra, please concentrate on bringing me back my wife. I'm working on it. I'm not just tapping on this to create a rhythm. I'm finding the frequency of the ice to let it shatter. I, shatter I, in I, a way you're... that will free her. I, I, fair enough. I, 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 you've got to understand from over here. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Magic is a strange thing, as it's true ice. Normally unmeltable, normally indestructible. I love that I'm literally wearing 
true ice on gauntlets on my wrist. <laughs> but you have to understand. If we find a better way to do this, if we find a way to send them back or stop them for good, then the rest here will be free. We are not permanent residents. In fact, in time, I believe they will be hailed as heroes in their own right. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. But when you find out that alternative route, when we find a way to push back these void creatures for good, you know where to find me. You know where to find us. Sort of looks to the rest of the frowny audience, the, the winter's quality growing us. I imagine that this is a threat that we will all be interested in putting down. Can't really rule a Freljord if there's no Aurelior to Freljord to rule. <laughs> don't think I don't have words for you two. Just looking at Sedrani. I've said most of them to you already, but you're just as much a part of that problem. She'll just cut it and look to you. Time outside of the Freljord really did make you, uh, I don't know, I was I wanted to say soft, but if anything it's hard in you more. I was never part of your faction to begin with. Delris wanted to be one of your warriors. You were born Not into that our I think tribe. She would now. Yes, you never really cared for us. In fact, people looked at me in horror because of my skin, because of her thralls. So, I genuinely don't care whether I was born into the tribe or not. Anyway, this is not the argument we're here for. No, the arguments I feel may just be about to begin. And with that, Lissandra will give one last tap to the ice, and cracks will begin to form over the surface before it starts to crumble away. And Alexander's wife is freed. She kind of like propped up slightly still against the ice like it's underneath her arms holding her up so she doesn't fall just directly to the floor. As promised. Alexander oh, sort of asks her stop, stop for a moment to really take in the moment like Alexander has of course brought an entire army here basically to confirm that this is how it's going to go down and yet quite clearly never really braced himself for the moment where the deed is done like he's like he's thought of it as a job and he's only now just realized what he's actually accomplished and he sort of uh he stops for a few moments ago Siri. She'll slowly open her eyes. And rather than looking directly mm -hmm. over to you first, her eyes will lock onto Lysandra. And the first words that she'll have uttered in quite some time escape her lips. Have they been banished back yet? No, they're still under the ice, but I made a deal with a certain someone to free you. You know what? This this deserves the most important of Jack rolling in the middle of the session. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Control slowly. Average roll. To you. Alexander looks... An array of emotions over the very uh, Star War man sort of a uh, flash before you. Confusion, a little bit of irritation, but a, a good portion of like, you know, genuine affection and care. Like, I've, I've got on her, but oh boy. <laughs> All right then, this is how this is going down sort of thing. Alexander, is that you? It is me, Siri. It's me. 
How long's it been? Uh, at this point, eight years? Maybe a little more. And I can tell it shows on your face. Because <laughs> that'll be the first words to be out of your mouth. She'll slowly hoist herself out and a bit of a stumble step. Given, you know, she's not used to her legs in literally eight years. So I assume the tribes have been fine? The tribes have been looks looks to both of them. Up to the usual, they still exist. Our village is still intact somehow. My guidance not helping. That is that is good to hear. I but her eyes will actually move then to a lorry. Mm. She'll take a bit of a step back. Could that just be... kind of stare at her? Could that be? <laughs> is, that one of the... is that one of the cursed sisters? Ah, uh, mm. yes. That is a lorry. Kind of... I'd heard the <laughs> tales of them. <laughs> Just like the kind of like slightly interested look of what she's about to say turns to like, you what? She sort of looks like yours. I, I did not realize that this was a thing that was flitting around eight years ago. Tales spread around the Freljord quite easily from chieftain to chieftain. I'd actually heard about this from. And then she just looks instantly to Sedron. It's like. Why matter? And then just takes a knee. Just kind of like just grumbling to herself, like just kind of like not gonna start a fight with his wife. Not gonna start a fight with his wife. Alexander was gonna offer her a hand. Says so Ernie, I'll just wait. It's fine. You can get up. Then she was just like get up from the knee. You didn't tell me you were working with the war mother. I okay. have been further south than you could ever have imagined, Siri. I have been to places that look nothing like anything we've ever seen in our lifetimes. To fight this purple menace that you have been frozen away to protect against. I have met many allies fought an incredible range of villains and here here i am and i can see that from those around you uh i said one of the she looks to a lorry sees the reaction from like the word cursed catches the words again it's like one of the twins that is how they like to be called yes I well, probably should have referred prefer to you by name. name. Uh, are you a Lari or a Delris? My name is a Lari. You'll Alari. likely meet Delris at some point. I see. Uh, you're traveling with a Lari. What seems to be a lizard. Nico, not lizard. Not Nico. Uh, Nico, complicated. Uh, yes, he, that one is shapeshifter. He's a, a shirtless man. Need, you know. That's your husband's boy toy. She just kind of like opens her eyes wide, leans up towards you, Alexander, and just whispers, "Good choice." <laughs> he has been an incredible ally for all of this. <laughs> You have missed a few potential world-ending events while you have been in the ice, I assure you. <laughs> Not just one. <laughs> she looks to the others. She then just also whispers to you. Is there side effects from being frozen for a while? I think I'm seeing... a ghost? A dead person? I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the avian. Is anyone else seeing the avian? She oh, is infused with too. many necrotic energies. She, um, he's, he, um, he's I'm not sure. 
never asked, you know. I just went along with it. <laughs> so they're not I'm a ghost. Not dead. No. <laughs> yeah. That explains the uh, like cherry blossom pink. I don't think you'd normally see that on a ghost. Not from <laughs> here, anyway. And now here's the big question I need to ask. Mariah, did you have glamour on or not? Um, no. She'll look down to Mariah. Is that a yodel? Hi. Yes. Yeah. Sadly. Th uh, oh. No, 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 no. This I'm is joking. good. This is good. I've always wanted to meet a yodel. Yodels are good luck. <laughs> Just going to pat Mariah. I'm joking. Pat Mariah. I, 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 I want you to put in that fight in. <laughs> He's a kingdom in here, you fire! Quiet or I'll burn you. You what? You what? <laughs> you, you fired what? Oh no, you fired. You just hear like a fucking like lift. It's like you just hear the sound of like a lift coming up as he like his head just pops up out of the hair. What are you trying? You trying threatening me? I'll bake you, eggplant. As you can see, Siri, and uh, oh, now, that uh, that, that, now that she's quite clearly um, adjusted to being back on her feet a bit more, we'll um, so, sort of bring her in, you know, half hug, you know, the one we just oh, yeah. one arm around someone and goes, as you can see, I have amassed quite uh, the group of friends traveling all across this world, solving a lot of big problems. You all helped my Alexander with this. Yes, I mean, he's been a great help to us in our endeavours as well. I'll tell you when I'll I punch an island later. <laughs> She'll just give like yeah, a bit of a smile. And then upon hearing that, she just turns to you like, you punched an island. <laughs> so you finally <laughs> got that crossed off your bucket list then, huh? <laughs> Alexander can now say... All those years he said he was going to fight some sort of terrain feature. He has now fought a terrain feature. <laughs> Admittedly, right. when I say I punched an island, it, it's it's a little bit more um, metaphorical than that, but... Then her eyes is going to lock onto a certain other person in the room. Mm -hmm. Is that a... I thought they were extinct. <laughs> that oh, yeti? Oh yeah, we brought them. What? Just kind of looks around. Umpa's followed us, hasn't she? Umpa pops out of Mariah's hair. Just, just kind of <laughs> scruffs her and lifts her up. It's like, I told you to stay on the ship. That, uh, that is indeed. Uh, yeah. Um... We found her, we've been looking after her, and she's mostly been beating the shit out of things on our behalf. Unwillingly, on our behalf, really, but... <laughs> Ampa found loophole. That is not... Mariah's hair is... Sovereign is nation not of a loophole. Part... Sovereign nation of eggplants part of ship. No, it is not. <laughs> when I tell you to stay on the ship, you stay with your grandmother. Understand? As you can see, uh, Alari is uh, the Yeti's stepmother. I was going to say mother, but I know exactly where your brain would have gone. That more like we adopted her. That, that would be a stepmother, Alari. No, it is not a stepmother. As if when you marry someone and then you're you're taking care of their kids. Wait, wait, which one of you is my stepmom? What the fuck's going on? None of us. You just see you, the uh, young lady. The, 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 are the in fucking... a lot of trouble once we get home. Google crumble, cr crumble buffering symbol in, in Alexander's eyes. Um... Can't drown, young pup. Right, yes, I can, young lady. I'm but never allowed off ship. I will take you places when we're not going to certain death. Always going to certain death. Not for very much longer. Hmm. Once we've resolved this old um, ordeal, see. I'll take you to see some nice places. There oh. is a lot to fill you in once we're out of here, Siri. I'll As you can see, her, just hold her normally. 
But as you can see, we're a little bit of a... Uh, we're almost a bit of an invading force in this castle right now. And I do not wish... I do not go wish on. to... Uh, oh. No, you go on. Ampa wanna go see funny smell people. You want to go to Bandle City? Mm. Funny smell people. Oh dear. That's going but to be a thing. I do not wish to uh, overstay our welcome. I don't wish to be a yordle again. <laughs> oh god. I remember that. <laughs> I can fill you in on all of the wonderful things I've seen and I have done on my travels. The island, the uh, the desert, the spirit realm. Um, that one time I saw one of their boyfriends do the helicopter. What's a helicopter? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not. What's a helicopter? <laughs> I suppose it never would have normally come up in one of our conversations, would it? <laughs> I'll tell you when I get out, you know, for, 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 um, no, not for little ears when we have children nearby. Um, not for little ears. Meanwhile, Mariah, the oldest of the party. I think, I think he means older. Um, <laughs> She's just holding her normally now. She's not scruffing her anymore. Looks still a Sandrine goes. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't sure how this was going to go down. I'm not going I to appreciate. Lie. I'm not going to lie, neither did I. I appreciate that this went down calmly enough and straightforward. And both you and the Laru will feel a hand on your shoulders. That's <laughs> kind of cold to the touch, even for you two. There's just a voice from Vegas. Yes, everything went out perfectly fine now, didn't it? I'm looking up at them. Fucking. <laughs> Who is that? Given that he was technically still on the ship, helping out with this situation, Diego just kind of walks past you both. Don't <laughs> touch me or I'll lance you through. Okay, now I'm definitely seeing that ghost. Uh, this this is the last world ending disa disaster we met, and if he wasn't so incredibly useful in dealing with the next <laughs> world ending disaster, he'd probably be dead again. <laughs> if she if he still got his hand on my shoulder, she's pulling her like freaking radiant bow staff off her back to threaten him with it. I don't know like... he'll have taken it off and like walked past you both to to walk towards Lissandra. <laughs> so now the question, of course, is. If you are missing one, that means the field is weakened. So what's going in there? How about you? you? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not a iceborn. You sure? The color of your skin sort of might go that way if you keep stabbing people. <laughs> Including your side. That joke worked better than Alexander said. Um... Besides, I don't know if anyone else has started to notice it or not, so I thought I'd bring it up. Mm. There seems to be an air of uh, static charge in the air, I guess is the best way to put it. That might just be because Alari has learned how to turn fire into lightning with sheer rage, to be honest. I can learn lightning spells. I am not surprised. Can I get, just quickly... A wisdom saving throw from Alexander. Oh, here we go. That's really good. There is like a bit of a like... The best way to put it is like a spark in your mind. Just like, it's a bit painful, but you might just shake it off. As you do hear a voice. Just going, let me in and let me deal with this enemy. He calls, as I knew he would eventually. He could not give me more than ten minutes of a real ending, could he? <laughs> and that uh, would be the static charge I've been feeling. Well, he's currently clawing at my mind. He isn't getting anywhere. <laughs> I don't know say this out of gusto. I say this because uh, that was that was really quiet. 
Then let us depart for Udir as soon as we can. I do not wish to infuriate him further by remaining around you longer, Lysandra. Regardless of what he thinks, we do share a mutual enemy here. Do not hesitate to call on me in the future if more of the as purple long... creatures he's putting down. And As long as it's not trapping us in ice, I'd, ra I'd be able to help as well. At the moment, I think the void will be licking its wounds. I don't think we're going to what need about any your... more soon. What about your strange friend? Belveth, I believe her name was. I believe mm -hmm. she's off preparing her own business. Uh, Did she not do something about those creatures? She said she had business to take care of in Shurima. <laughs> she does get around, doesn't she? <laughs> Apparently anyway, she had someone she had to lock the eyes on. But yes, uh, if your bear is threatening to try and emerge because of your presence here, you're free to go. I believe our transaction here is done, and as you have said, we have a mutual enemy. It would not service me to break this bond. Alexander will sort of bow and go, come on, everybody. Thank you, Trundle. I'm not going to uh, lie. I thought it would have gone a bit rougher than things have done. So, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, makes his way out and just as uh, just as not to leave a lot of Diego. And Diego. Yes. I know your assistance here is mandatory, back. and that you will be. I imagine incredibly important to keeping these void creatures out of our world. But the next time, keep it in your pants. Oh, trust me, the person that I'm going to be seeking out in a second. Yeah, not my type. I only have one love. That's I what I mean. To... Try not to end the world next time. And I'll leave. <laughs> You just hear like the call going, tell me you want to have done the same for your wife. And she sighs, looks at him, I was really, really was like, you ever come anywhere near me and my family again, and I will burn you from the inside out, do you understand? Then I do need to ask the question. Hmm? Is that doll part of your family? Doll. The one with the scissors. Gwen? That's the name. Is she part of your family? She is an ally. But family? We work with to kill you. Well, to stop you. But family? Not family, but I would be very then irked do. if you did anything to her. I just want to talk. Well, Trust nothing, me, there's not much I could probably. Her. There's not much I could do to her anyway. She quite literally was the one that stopped me. Mm. Trust me, if I tried to do anything to her, she'd probably just seal me away again in a heartbeat. I am trying what you call. Uh, it begins with a D. I'm trying to think of the name. Diplomacy. Besides Regardless. the uh, little one that I was using to help spread the harrowing has seemingly taken up a new leaf. Yes, she is quite happy in a relationship now, it seems, despite her demeanor. <laughs> Just to call up, it's not a relationship. You, they both pretty much admitted to it by this point. <laughs> it's almost as bad as saying it's not a phase. <laughs> she won't grow out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes as you do leave the castle your wife will look to you Alexander so are we heading back to the village or 
there is idea. there is one more one more trip before we can head home start working out where we go from here and that's where she locks eyes on the airship ah i had not considered i would have to uh, introduce you to the threat to the to the um uh, the, the gentle, the use, gentle fish. use fish. Yes. This is the gentle use fish. It's an airship from somewhere. Huh. Oh, we we took we kind of stole it from Hokobo. Is this one of those helicopters? No, 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 no it's an airship. No, it, it it it's supposed to be in the water, but it isn't. So we just accept it and move on. Well, we we kind of technically bought it and then stole it from Piltover when the man was trying to scam us. And as she carefully makes her way onto the ship, she'll lock eyes with the rest of the crew. Spot Vex and just walk over to her and be like, you've got another lucky charm on your ship. Another yodel. And just kind of ruff, try to ruffle the hair. I wouldn't call her a lucky charm. Let's <laughs> just squint at it and look to you, Alex, and it goes, if your wife tries to ruffle my hair again, I'm going to kill her. You couldn't have just said, yay, or, oh, I'm so happy for you, in some sort of sarcastic tone. That is my way of being happy. Besides, you can try. <laughs> <laughs> just like at the idea of a fight, you see her try and reach to her back, but given there is no weapon there anymore, it's like, ah, <laughs> I need to pick that up at some point. Is it still above the fireplace? I believe that's where I told you to store my weapon if I ever went. Uh, it should still be above the fireplace. Admittedly, I haven't been home for about six months. Yes, but... Better still be there. <laughs> villagers know better than to raid a chieftain's hut, even when they're not yeah. there. That is, uh, that is fair. Although I've been to some places where there's sort of a... Uh sort of honor is not necessarily very much kept to. And it has been pretty chaotic since I left. At this point, I'm going to ask, can everyone roll me a perception check based on smell? Perception. Perception. I almost forgot that I have really... I don't even have a nose, so that fucking makes sense to be quite honest. I'd say, Alexander, you're a bit distracted. Everyone yeah. else, however, you easily pick up on the scent of blood in the air. Blood? Well, that's not a smell that I would associate. You hear many paw steps heading back towards the ship. No, no! We dropped you off, that was the deal. Oh, it's the stab dog. You dropped us off for a hunt. We have not had a hunt. We have had a... snack, to put it. We, have not we are not ferrying you yet. to another hunt spot. We are bringing you here, that was it. <laughs> they are caked in blood, and you do see what could be the shape of a mammoth in the distance. It's like, plus, you are not bringing that mess onto this ship. <laughs> Alexander thinks for one goes, You only stuck about to try and find, like, one thing to hunt. Have you not seen what is out here? Yes, but we've heard that you're potentially going into a dangerous area. This was not. We're dangerous. really not! We're going to somebody's home. Yes, and we're trying to resolve conflict right now, not getting to more of it. I think I'd like, I don't know, go try and fight, uh, what even is around here? I, what, what is around here, Lee? Um, uh, all the pale striders, um, because Alexander's not sure if it's wise to send them to go fight them, he's not sure. Oh no, yes, yeah. go fight are. the bale striders. And what is this? Nails, oh, it is a humongous thing. How big are we talking? As big as the castle? Um, yeah, they are. Um, they they are genuinely that tall, if I recall, aren't they? 
humongous monstrosities on humongous, humongous like lengthened legs, possessing void powers, unlike anything else that walks this plane naturally. They are. Well, I'm not going to lie, they are a uh, Freljordian's dream hunt, really. Let me a diplomacy check See, for you. Okay. Diplomacy, shit, hang on, I need to go load up stock. <laughs> oh, um, persuasion. Oh, yeah, um, what's your bonus? Because we could probably just give advantage to the person with the highest bonus. Uh, I have a plus seven. I have a plus nine. Ah, fair. So, do you want to give me advantage? Do you yeah, yeah that's separately? fair. What no, I will roll separately because I can look okay, at this yeah. if it goes no worries. tits up, which I can't do with you. I mean, I can re roll as well, so. I'm re rolling. <laughs> ah, fair. Strands of. You know fate. what? You know what? That's fair. She's got a good roll. I'm going to try and see if I can get a really good roll just in case. <laughs> well, I get to pick, so I'm sticking with the 18. <laughs> The equivalent of a roll off pissing contest. <laughs> the equivalent of a roll off pissing contest where Jack ended up pissing on himself and then we're like, no, but I pissed in the toilet initially and therefore I'm counting that as it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. But uh, they all look to you. Creature so tall, so big. Yes, this would be the perfect hunt. I can tell along. you, I can tell you that they are around here because the only place, and I genuinely mean this, the only place Alexander has ever seen a Bale Strider is outside that castle. Well, yes, because they hang around where near the void is. Very which well. Is under the ice. Wait, under can you guys ice. kill void things? <laughs> Don't get them to mind that out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they can, they can, but uh, oh my goodness. Depends There's on the void size things and the power. under the ice. There's void things under the ice. We would rather really hunt one of these bale striders. Because while we can hunt, but after. While we can hunt void creatures, we cannot devour void creatures. You do realize that the bale striders are tainted by void. Why are you telling me? Tainted by void and consisting of void are two different things. We can eat around the void. Fair enough. It's Have fun, tainted. I guess. And they will basically rush off. There is a distinct possibility Alexander will have to deal with them one day. Yes, I am going to put them out of my mind for now. Because I do not wish to deal with them. But if they're just fighting Bale Striders, that is an our advantage. But do we're nearly ready to set off before they change their fucking mind again. Let's go. I've been waiting. As people do sort of on the ship, you will see what seems to be a messenger hawk coming towards the group. Mm. So I draw just raise around. Get it. Get the little piece of paper off. All right, we've got a location. Yes? You'll need to be going towards... And this is where I quickly load up the map, because I forgot to do so. Do you know what the funniest point is? Mm. I technically don't need to load up the map. I could just get that book from upstairs that you got me and hope that that has a Freljord map in it. <laughs> Because there's a certain yeah. island that I'm trying to remember the name of. Uh, well, Wiki Fell Yord. It is known as. Also, I just have to point this out because it makes me laugh. Just by looking this up. What languages does the Fell Yord speak in? Historical Freljordian, modern Freljordian, something called Vanox, and for some reason they speak Damasian. Hmm. Damasian, I think, probably makes sense given. Also, yeah. the fact that it's like 
What religions are the, the, the three sisters, kindred, Freljordian demigods, and Caelan Morgana? Yeah. <laughs> because there's quite a bit of that where it seems to be like, it was either part of the mass year and now it's part of Freljord or vice versa. I can't remember which way it goes around. But it's just one of those interesting things where I scroll through that and see that shit. I don't want the history of Freljord. I want locations in Freljord, please. Thank you. Oh, hey, for you. Also on the Demacian bit, remember what happened to the Demacian mages and where they went after they were kicked out of Demacia? Yeah. I still need to play a thingy but at some point. Oh my god. Uh, try to end in it. Mage Seeker. It is called... I've got the locations up now, finally. <clears throat> really, that that's just how easy it was. It's called the Ursine Lands. Well. The Ursine Lands are... Uh, I'm assuming that I've got you all on the correct map here. It is the map, world map of Runeterra itself. Yeah. yeah. Aside from Santoru, I think he's still somewhere else. The Santa get with everyone else. Because <laughs> I just realized Santa was still on the Shurima map by himself. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing he's not Top left up moment, here. Huh? Just this little island off from the Freljord itself. Oh, Those are so the Ursine lands. Then let's go find us a priest, I guess. Uh, just be careful if you're going there. Mm. Well, the Volibear does have his connections with throughout a lot of the land here. That is where the Ursign live, as well as the Lost Ones. I don't know what the lost ones are, but Ursine is kind of implied, given the name. The, um, yeah, I was just about, I was just about to fucking say, uh, you know, Ursine lands. Uh, if there ain't any Ursines living there, kind of a fucking moot point, ain't it? Indeed. The lost ones, I heard about them from Udia before. Essentially, puts they're what happens if the volleyball tries to take someone's form and it doesn't settle they their oh. forms twist into grotesque abominations of how the well, often does animals. he try this you'd be surprised oh well that doesn't put me in exactly high excitement experience, huh? um some oddly give for themselves willingly to it I mean, Regardless. that is what Ursine are in general, anyway. They are people that are more in touch with it and remain in bare form. Regardless, we are heading here to save Alexander. I'll be damned if we don't. Very well. Good luck uh, to all of you. I would say may the bear be with you, but in this case it may be detrimental if he is. Yes, we do not want the bear with us in this case. May the seal mother be with you then. She's more of a neutral god. Yes. I see we are fishing for gods now. Well, she's the one that hasn't been involved. I guess same with the other one as well, Orn, but... Orn keeps to himself in his forge. Yes, I kind of guessed. I mean, if anyone was going to help you against Volibear, if you could try and get him on your side, it'd be handy. After all, I've told, you know what brothers can be like. I've told both Anivia... I've told Anivia that she needs to kick their asses into gear, at least. Anivia is the god of the Avarosans. That should say it all. Look, 
she is also the one that, for some reason, decided to give me powers. So... I had a big... I had a fight with her the other night anyway. She's just gonna have a squint at you, Alari. And she's going to make a check. That is not Roll20, that was OBS. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I was Before about to try and thinking... type it to OBS, but I couldn't. Before you go thinking anything dumb, I didn't choose for her to give me these powers. She just decided. Before you go thinking anything dumb, she rolled on that one. She's thinking dumb. <laughs> She'll just look to you. Just keep an eye on it. And keep an eye on him. If the bear's going to take him, then there's no saying if the bird will try and take you. If that happens, you're quite legit going to have a demigod fight on a ship. If she tries, I am her quite literal bane in the form of fire. And I don't want to be. You would just be elemental. making a cryo phoenix a phoenix. Well, it's <laughs> if the other power that's vying for control of me doesn't take over first in terms of the world ruin. Do you know issue. what the funniest part is now that I've realized it, given the lore we've set up with this? What? I'm just imagining Follybird tries to take over Alexander, and Evia tries to take over Alari. Orn just quickly possesses Mariah, given that she's the daughter of a blacksmith, and just goes to tinker with weapons <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> no, it was it on? Oh, no, I, I didn't hear anything. No. And I don't know who Sorry. the Seal Sister would possess, because the Seal Sister's one of them that we don't really have too much lore for in the actual games, because lol. Both um, in the terms of laughing right. out loud and also lol, the game. <laughs> Look, we've had... A thing where we met a man made of molten stone and stuff, where he is also afflicted by the world ruin. And, well, since then, things have been a little... dicey. Dirty. When emer emotions flare up. So there is a chance that that could just take over instead. <laughs> Weirdest part it is, of all the four gods, she probably would have been your best bet. To your current situation and what you're wanting. After all, goddess of life and renewal. Mm. So, are we setting the ship off? <laughs> Let me just quickly hop off the ship then. We'll make our way back to our tribes. Yes. Try and avoid the blade dogs. They've gone that way. And I still don't really like you that much. I've grown to respect you somewhat. I have some respect for you too, but it doesn't mean I like you. It's a start. Oh. <laughs> and the ship will take off. You know, now that we're not around, i just got to point out, uh, in no offense to you for the audience in the room, but you lot are fucked lot, ain't ya? Like, jeez. You've got some uh, fucking economical, political, uh, sociological issues. I'm gonna walk you? over to Mariah's hair and flick the egg blanking. Ah! <laughs> Just ping! <laughs> speaking of... Speaking of all Go this, back uh, to her. Speaking of all this situation, I do need to ask. How do you guys stand being so little clothing in here? It's freezing. Well, what do I don't fight and wear clothing, do I? No, I mean, I have feathers. Here. Sorry, who said that? Uh, Akshan, <laughs> given, you know, he is literally shirtless in the Frelly Yard and it's not a iceborne. <laughs> Just kind of looks at it like, we don't really feel it, I guess, that much. We're born if you're the cold, ice, so. there, just just go downstairs. There's there's plenty of war rooms down there. Yeah, I'm gonna get try and get a hot bath or something. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you really want to warm up, what am I in that? I'm not gonna really say you know what I mean. <laughs> He's gonna oh, we should probably drop off my mother at Gragas's house, unless she wants to stay on the ship. 
I thought you wanted to go visit him. She'll just look to you, Valori. Now, I'm in this for the long run now. Hey, I banded you once. Do you think I'm going to be doing so again? <laughs> just kind of raises an eyebrow like, you want me to answer that question? Ouch. Oh man, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> Delarist has much more faith in you than I do. Remember that. Well, this, I'm in the head. She managed oh. to sneak out. <laughs> she just kind of takes on her. Mm hmm. You were meant to be watching her. Yes, and I was watching her. And do you know what she did? And she still got away. Yes. Do you know what she did? What? She's going to toss you what seems to be a small orb. What's the orb? Mm -hmm. uh, you all can make me a investigation check on this. I, uh, an Arcana check, I believe it would be, actually, yes. Uh, but I'm going to say, Pursue, you can get advantage on this. It's the same. It's the same modifier for me, so it's still seventeen. Nice. Is that uh, natural or unnatural? Uh, it's unnatural. Okay. I had to find the thing again. Are you rolling as well, uh, Alexander? Nope. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, you all do get this. It's a smoke bomb. An Ionian smoke lot. bomb. Just looks at Umpa. <laughs> New Ionian you friends get little... it. It's like, you oh, no. sneaky little... Look, being sneaky is not a bad thing. But don't use it to escape your grandmother. <laughs> She'll just it sounds get like a large... She'll get a large grin on her face. He will. <laughs> being sneaky is part of what makes good adventure. You all get sneaky up at times. It, it is, but you don't use it to sneak away from family. He gets very sneaky points to Patu. <laughs> well, Patu is very sneaky, but he doesn't use it to sneak away from family when we're trying to keep each other safe. I don't want it to keep you safe. I know you do, little one. But in there was very dangerous. If that had turned into a fight... But they could have taken them. Not without some more training. He We're going to get you lots of training. Alexander give training. But... I'm getting stronger. Yes, and we're going to get you a lot more training. I'm but... getting swole. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds but... like you've gotten more than just training there. It's for now, you need to listen a little bit when I tell you that it's not safe. Oh. Okay? Ship not safe. When you're... Ship is usually safe. <laughs> She'll just like raise an eyebrow. Ship has been invaded <laughs> many, me. many times. Ship not safe. I said... I said usually. At the moment, Everybody's it's forgetting about the very obviously self-destruct button that Waffleberg has on the ship as well. <laughs> it's just like uh, the ship is usually very safe. Umpa will wriggle out of uh, Alari's mother's hands and just walk over and be like, "Just keep pointing to every small little red button she sees." Yeah, yeah the immense, the immense amount of just. Ha, ha, like hazardous, like keep in mind, Waffleberg built the ship to fly. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to Ampa's room, I'm not need. I'm not going to I'm not going to be grounded. Oh. <laughs> we'll talk later. I'm not still want bedtime story. <laughs> she just kind of marches down the stairs. With all of this out of the way, with it finally 
somewhat quiet above deck, having finally managed to drop the majority of the excess people we had. Oh yeah, it's pretty much now just your usual crew on the ship. Plus Vex. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, she's pretty much part of your crew now. That's fair. Plus <laughs> yeah, action. plus action. Yeah, I think action's the only one that you wouldn't really count as your usual crew. Well, that's your wife, um, but I think your wife is essentially yeah. being roped into this now. <laughs> With um, with, with 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 most people having gone downstairs to deal with things or gone to the uh, the 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 bridge to uh, pilot the ship, Alexander finally sat up and deep breath goes, "Oh my goodness." Hello. <laughs> That's fine, Alexander. Sorry, I'm not going to lie, Alexander. Alexander said there was a lot to talk you through, but it sounds like you've got a little to talk me through as well. About... video, I'm guessing. Alexander gets the idea that you may have... That, that you may have been there of at least your partial will. Is Alexander correct? Partial being the correct word. How best to put it, um... Alexander gets out the uh, he, he he the um the, the the horn of funny drink and gets himself a drink <laughs> basically. You remember the battle I went into, the one where I'm the one where I you went were missing, the one that you were conscripted into. Yeah. Yes. The one gave our the, um. The one I against... got into a lot of trouble when I gave our uh. When when I gave our um. Chieftain, a well, chiefess, whatever you want to call Sejuani, a bit of a a run through for that one. Yes, the one against was the... not easy. I'm not going to lie to you, Siri. The one against the I... forces. Yes, well, you disappeared from that. Sejuani shows up a couple of weeks later to do the uh, the usual return of our troops. Realize that you hadn't come back. I think I would have been in a lot more trouble if Sejuani didn't know that she needed me to look after that village while she transitioned to another chiefess or chieftain. Not that she ever succeeded. Nobody she wanted to take that mantle. She just close her eyes slightly, just nodded. The me and Sejuani don't talk about it very much, but... The truth, How do I... we... the truth of the matter is, I wasn't kidnapped or taken against my will. I think it was such. If anything, she saved my life. Ah. She will actually move part of her shirt, and you'll see heavy scarring just pretty much both on the back and on the front, it's like bigger on the back than it is on the front. Roughly just a few inches away from where you'd presume the heart would be. Let's have a look at It never should have been you out there. Sejuani was making a push to get more of the uh, village chieftains involved. And so when she looked at the two of us, with all due respect... We always knew that I was the one out there training. I was the one training you. You should not have been the one to go. But she needed to even the failure suffers from politics, yes? <laughs> she needed someone quiet for the mission she sent me to. And I nah, no offense, that's not but... the story we got. That's because it was how best to put it. Secret. She'll just slowly nod. She sent me to try and get a certain artifact. What did she send you to go and get, huh? A weapon from Orn's Forges. Ah! And of course. Halfway climbing up the mountain, I encountered one of her trolls trying to do the same. We had a fight. We knocked each other off the mountain. 
I came to shortly afterwards, once I managed to get to the bottom. He had found a nice a, uh, giant ice spike through his brain. And well, oh. you can see where I managed to find one. And I would have huh. bled out and died there had it not been for the ice witch herself finding me. Told me that if she gave me time to heal, I could help her out in a way as well. And well. Why, 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 why? Jesus why? Christ! Oh, he gets around. Hello. Oh, sorry. I apologize. I thought you were still on main deck. I'll back out of the seat. I apologize. I thought you were still with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. I'm bad. Sorry. <laughs> he goes upstairs. He's over the. Ah. He's over the box. <laughs> I thought you were still around, everybody. I missed the part where you said you went off. I do apologize. Essential. Yeah, no. So, yeah, go she on. She told me she could give me time to heal. And all I would have to do in return is dream. Ah. So I. She's not wrong. Took her up on the offer. I didn't realize it would be eight years worth, but I always had faith that if she was going to betray me, that you would find me. And here we are, your family. Oh. I'm not going to lie, you spent a at least seven of the last eight years very much considered killed in action. We got our stories from Sejuani. Very likely that the only reason that means that she won't even get on is because she probably felt a little bit of guilt. Well, Setting also... me on the mission, she would have done so, yes. Although I can also assume that she had no idea that I was still alive. I would not have known had it not been for a slight world-ending disaster. Suppose I should fill you in on the first one and... Alex, I, I won't say it all out loud, but Alexander will basically fill her in on the Shadow Isles arc, Viego and Dredge. He's not Dredge, but Alexander calls him Dredge. Um, <laughs> and Dredge, not the not not fresh Dredge. We're talking about the video game. We spent a lot of time playing the video game Dredge. <laughs> to, to, to tell her about a little bit about some of the crew members she never got to meet, the Ghost, uh, Waffleberg. And essentially put, say, and so after all of that, it was actually at that library I mentioned, the Shadow Isles, that I discovered that you were alive. <laughs> Literally the other end of the world. I will say, as you do mention these, as you do say Kuiper's name, because I'm assuming Kuiper would also come up in that. Of course, of course. A bit of a shiver goes up your spine. But also there's like a faint laughter off in the distance. Uh, let's see if Alexander would have even knows us. Eh, he gets he gets a subtle feeling, he doesn't really feel it too much. Hmm. Alexander, um goes so it is on that there uh, it is in that library we inadvertently ran into the avatars of some of the gods of death. I'm not sure which ones they are, to be honest. There's a few of them, I think. I don't know. They, they are not our gods. That's the one. They are still worshipped up here. Uh... Ah, you know me. I never was a religious one. I never kept up with the church. I follow. I followed Volibear. That's what I'm talking for at some point. But I followed. But you know, I followed Volibear as a as, as a means to be strong for my people. Hmm. Right, less than a religious thing. Well, it is uh, this, this kindred who, of course, would... It's very rare you come across the avatars of gods these days. <laughs> I'd like to keep it that way. Um, I mean, but, of course, if you met... With the Shadow Isles, it was a bit of a special case. And um, If you met the Lamb and Wolf themselves, they're not avatars. That is literally uh, death. No. So to say you've met death not once, but a couple of times now by the sounds of it, and your friends more so. 
We have a bit of a uh, an ongoing relationship, not like that. Us and death. It seems that with us being thrust into such a dangerous position, they've been forced to meet them many times. Some willingly, some less so. I think they appreciate what we did for the world to an extent. Just kept like the. This. We have a punch card now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is them that told me that you are still alive. A shock to the system, especially dealing with a world-ending event. And then, of course, there's the other one, the other world-ending event, the void creatures themselves I've had to deal with while you've been out in the ice. I have been everywhere. I really have. I have piloted mechs as a small furry creature. That's a story for another time. I have performed subterfuge on behalf of strange creatures. Another story for another time. Cleared out an entire office complex of slaves. And I've been to the spirit realm for a fucking party in the middle of a fucking crusade. I've still not forgiven them for that one. <laughs> and that's without even talking about the one time we went to Christmas land. <laughs> That's without talking about the one time we went to Christmas land. Um, <laughs> Christmas. Alexander's just like... With Brom and Gra Gay Draven. Do you know why it is that we travel? Why it is that we travel to this Ursine land? I felt You've the... heard some English. I felt the charge back there. And I heard the stories, given what Sejuani said. My feats of power and combat prowess during the void fight at Shirima was willed on by the power of Volibear and his many Earthside Berserkers. I led them into the fight, if you will. I did not think much of it at the time. As a follower of Volibear, it seemed only fair to bring him in as an ally to one of our greatest, most threatening battles. And I didn't feel like I had much of a choice. I did not realize that he would expect to come knocking, asking for the debt that I apparently owe him. This sort of, um... He, 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 he does something he doesn't normally do. He takes out his holy symbol. He always has his holy symbol, but he tends to cast through his weapons, or his... simply his bare hands. He simply channels the holy symbol rather than actually holding it. So this might be the first time, if anyone is watching, they would see him pull out the holy symbol. And he goes... Volibear has always been there for our people. Volibear has always been a pushing force. But I find myself growing more and more distant from him as each time I have to deal with his machinations has come. It has been very subtle originally. Simply perhaps a little bit of frustration here. Perhaps a little bit of a disagreement with the combat heaviness there. But it has always fit to me. You've always known me. Problems can be sorted with weapons. I've always had that mindset. I'm not going to deny it. And so I never really thought too much about it. But... A lot of the problems that have been suffered over the past year or so, the Shadow Isles, the Void Things, as well as all of the constant infighting of the Freljord, the different gods of the Freljord we have met pissed off along the way. All of the different... Many of the tragedies and the terrible stories that have come to pass during my time traveling around. The amount of them that could simply have been prevented if we were all on the same page. And now he comes to make me his avatar of war. He wants me to continue the war. Alari, the cursed twins, as you so vehemently put it. I've yeah, never heard I... of anyone call them that before, you know. 
it was passed around by the uh, clan leaders, and uh, I guess it's not it's not exactly like she can disagree. She is very much cursed. She is going to do everything in her power to fix that for her, and I intend to help. Yeah. Her. I should probably apologize for calling her that. So if, uh, ah, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm just glad her sister didn't She's do not... that as well. I heard her sister's a lot more uh, outward acting. Mm. They're both a little bit irritable oh, no. and active. E even I have an impulsiveness that is easily outshone by theirs. I've not seen her sister around since we've been on the ship, by the way. That is because they are one in the same. She will change colour at some point. It's her sister. Huh. They share a body. Hi. That is their curse. And height and build. <laughs> yeah, but that's the important one. Um, go, go, Power because Rangers. Basically, um, every time Alari's out, she uses alt herself to make herself look like she used to, to the best ah, that she can. That's fair. Which isn't a lot because, like, you can only go so much up and down in height, and Alari was like six foot odd. Compared to Delrus, who was five foot four, so <laughs> she's still a bit short compared to how she used to be. What I am trying to say, however, and uh, you know, tenderly holds her hand as tenderly as a big hulking iceborn can. She's still pretty tenderly. Um, chicken tenders, but um, I holds her hand and goes. I have been thinking hard about what I want to do once this is all blown over. With our old captain, Waffleberg, I mentioned him earlier, dead. My good friend Kuiper gone. There is not too much keeping us all together on the ship. And perhaps we are a little bit without direction. So I have been thinking about what I want to do. First, I need to go and sort out this volleyball problem. I would like to sort it in a way that is... <sighs> I hate to say it, it's really beneficial for both me and him. Still owe him, even if I do not agree to his term. Regardless of how that goes. He sort of takes another big drink. It is time that the Freljord was won again. Having been so prevalent in many fights that have greatly assisted Sejuani, having personally assi assisted Lysandra, and with a follower of the Phoenix God on the ship as we speak, I am in a unique position to start with their assistance, trying to get us all back on one real same page. You want to unite the Freljord? Yes. There appears to be a third crisis boiling down in the desert, you know. I saw the giants with my own eyes as they ripped across the Shuriman Desert. They are angry. They are going to fight fucking everything, it seems. The giants are angry. They're going to rip up everything. She's just there going, I've never seen anything like that. Meanwhile, she quite literally just saw the dogs, which are one of them. <laughs> <laughs> They threaten the world once again, but we have time this time, I think, for the failure to get itself in a real state. Lysandra and Sejuani, they will never agree, but we've lost a lot of people to these, these constant infightings. The failure lags behind in technology. Well, <laughs> general health. Speaking of world threats and the uh, threats to the Ferioid, mm. is Noxus still invading our lands? I remember that being a thing eight years ago. I don't think so. I, what was it still brewing when, when I left with the party? It's still brewing even now. Like, Noxus will is an expansion empire type thing. They will try and conquer any land they can. 
to bring it under their rule. But uh, Noxus, the last time I went to Noxus, it was very distracted. Busy, they were hosting a party. It looks like they had bigger fish to fry for a little bit. If anything, the Freljord could really do with banding together to deal with them. I see. And so... I head out to the Surfsign land. I do not know if I will leave with or without a god. If I will leave at all. It is not exactly what I was hoping to bring you back in. For that, I am genuinely sorry. I try to think of it less as a case of we are only getting this short time. At the very least. A more a case of at least I'm getting time with you again. Um. Yes. Yeah. No. Just, and easier to make. I, I've only got one more in me. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Go on. <laughs> uh, she she's not interfering, but she is on deck with them. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> she's I on deck, but make... not on the deck. We're in a room, I think. I do need you to make me one no, promise. No, they stayed on deck. Yeah, they just stayed on deck and got the fuck out the way, pretty much. Fair. Because everyone else went their yeah. own ways to do with stuff. There is a one promise that I must request that you make. As I go on my own little mountain climb of sorts. There is, of course, this chance I will not leave. So... Certainly, maybe not myself. So what there is a chance is? that I may find myself fighting another demigod, or fighting a god in, in the flesh myself. There is a many things that could be going on once we get to the Sursine land. Should I fall, whether that will be to Volibear, to his machinations, or if I am simply forced to be put down by some other god before I become another aspect of war, I need you to, to continue what I have started here. You know, Sejuani is not going to take peace from anyone. And I know that you are the one of the only other Freljordans I can think of who has the force of power and the knowledge and the position to get Sejuani's ear and Lysandra's. And hopefully the Everosans as well. They're a problem for another bloody day, aren't they? Because, of course, so many factions in the failure, those factions are split into their own sometimes. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still laughing at the fact it's like, all the way through this game, ah yes, on those bloody Avaros, and uh, meanwhile, in canon board, they're probably the nicest people in the failure. <laughs> yeah. they're, the, they're the ones who are actively striving for, like, <laughs> yeah, no they're the ones that peace without war. <laughs> They're the people that Braum is, is literally part of. <laughs> That's as you know. But yeah, uh, sure, let's see about I promise this. I'll carry on your work if you don't come back, but please do try and come back. <laughs> Alexander has no intention of not coming back, but Alexander knows that sometimes saying that is not enough. I just do speak anyway. So. I believe we should probably do some actual catching up. Points to downstairs. <laughs> You're going to demonstrate helicoptering, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just a call from downstairs about you. I'll be like, I can help you if, if I can make it stereo. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... So, off they go. Yep. To probably make a bit too much noise. Um, Off they go. Uh, what was Alari trying to do, by the way? Because I know you tried to get something in there that then. Yeah, I'll just wait until he was done because, you know. Yeah. She wouldn't have said anything while they were on deck. So, is it the issue she will just kind below of, deck? She will just be kind of looking down at the ice below mm -hmm. and kind of just to You're herself, what? just kind of say I'm not sure if you can hear me. 
that would you really want to take me ashore as, as he would take him? Make me a religion check, if you would. <laughs> the voice is faint. <laughs> Rather than taking you to like a little area where she could converse fully with you, mm. her influence seems weaker as you're getting towards the Earth's Iron Lands. But you make out a couple of words at least. I would not. I would be no one's plaything again. Ever. I would be no one's plaything no, ever not. again. <laughs> and I will not be controlled. I was about to do this joke that it'd be like, I will be no one's plaything again while Umpa's on your shoulders just like playing your head like a bongo. Then I remembered she'd be tying herself to her own room. Yeah, but the main kind of thing though was she's just kind of been used by a lot of people so yeah yeah i'm assuming patu's piloting the ship through the night yes is it just like to go towards night time uh how long have we been recording for let me just check okay it's getting up to a nice point to wrap up for today so uh we are going to end things with a nice little final scene a scene, if you will. Uh, Mariah. Yes. As you're heading down to your room for the night to rest up, you find someone sat outside your room store. Just kind of sat down, doing the thing where they're rubbing their hands and then holding them up to the door. As you see Umpa just waiting outside your room. Umpa? Why? Warm. Door warm. Room warm. Nice toasty. Is she just warming her up, herself up next to your door? Oh. And as you do I get didn't... closer to your room, you do also start to feel the warmth and heat. Is my room on fire? You don't sure, like, see oh any God. smoke. Oh. You don't see any smoke, but are you opening Your the door? Your room is on fire. Yeah. You open the room. You open the door, and beyond it, you don't see your room anymore. You see large obsidian pillars, of warm <laughs> fires <laughs> roaring in pits, and in the middle of it all seems to be a large forge and a. Anvil, pretty much the size of the ship itself. You really are doing this, aren't you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of this, Mariah? She's gonna very hesitantly walk in. Kind of shocked and absolute mind blown because she she gets mind blown over the slightest thing, let's be honest. So she's like looking at that anvil, like, ooh, big. Yep, uh, given, as said, your father is the blacksmith of Vandal City, you recognize this to be one of the finest uh, smithing anvils you have seen. Like, if your dad could see this, he would probably faint. I and then a figure. Emerges from the flames and the darkness behind it. And I'll throw this in DD chat because you will see this. I, okay, uh, Discord on mobile crash while well, I tried to do that. Let's try that shit again. Uh, you'll see this figure. Yeah. I'm riding like a motorcycle. As he will just look. <laughs> Oh, 
He's just he's just so short. He's got the brim brim powers. He will look down to you and just kind of let out of a grunt before going. So you're on that ship that's going to meet brother's location. To try yes. and help out one of your more human friends. Yes? The one that's wearing your amulet. <laughs> like the certified boss that I am. Sorry. <laughs> no, this isn't Bolly Bear. This is uh, Orn. Oh, no, I'm wearing brother. his amulet. Yeah. You're wearing will... Orn's amulet? Yes, to piss him off. <laughs> he, will, he will let out a slight chuckle. Before what seems to be a large ongoing staircase rises out of the ground to the anvil. Grab an ammo. We're going to get to work. We're going to prepare something for the morn. Sounds great. <laughs> so Mariah's going to channel her inner father's teachings. And as you ascend up the stairs towards the anvil to help Orn forge something for the morning, we are going to end it for tonight with the door closing and Umpa just looking all confused. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course you're also Where there. Where am I, Liam? Somebody <laughs> turn the thermos jet fucking down, please. It's so fucking hot in here. You're baking in there. You were. I come and play Parmesan and I don't mind like it. A Laura did warn that you were going to be uh, baked. <laughs> yeah, but when, when she did it, it was a fucking put on. Now it's a fucking put off. <laughs> but yes, I, I was joking about it earlier and I'm like, yes, but. What if I use this yeah. as an excuse to get people some nice magical items in time for this final potential fight? I like that Wafflebird gave the party some very good warnings of gods are assholes, gods are assholes, gods are assholes, gods are assholes, don't get involved <laughs> with gods. Wafflebird's gone now, we're involved with gods again. <laughs> the gods were just waiting for Wafflebird to go away. <laughs> The gods are like gods are assholes. Gods are assholes. Gods are assholes. We're now talking to the gods. They're assholes. Um, gods are assholes. Gods are yes. assholes. Gods are assholes. But technically, aren't you a god? Yeah, and I'm an asshole. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, I am ever getting point. I'm making also technically demigod. So, yeah, close enough. I mean, these are technically demigods. It's not nearly, well, I mean, there's only, like, one actual god in Nurnterra that can be technically considered a god, which is Aurelian Soul. And he doesn't even think of himself as a god. He thinks of himself above gods. Like, uh, Runeterra gods are weird. Yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. We are very much coming up towards the end. Like yeah. I said, I'm uh, I'm going to assume one or two more sessions of Rune Terror. Yeah. Gonna be two, I guarantee it. I mean, I've yeah, been saying it's going to be one or two wait, for wait. a while. I'm assuming it's going to be three at this point, at least. We'll sort out the session zero for Thingy at some point. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! There's something else that I need to sort. We need to sort out as well, which I'll bring up once the recording's done. Uh, so let me just okay. say. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you want to check out more from us, there's always Devil Darlings, there's Sirens Through the Fog and Star Plunder over on Spotify, as well as Echoes of the Past over on Chuckball Keeper's channel. And on Fridays, as you may have seen, we are uploading Baldur's Gate free playthroughs now. Also, as I said, Vampire coming after this at some point in the future. Yeah, Vampire come. I mean, it is in Manchester, which you know what it is. The, the dog and cat. All the what? <laughs> Manchester by night will be coming <laughs> to this channel. So, uh, yes, thank you all, and we will see you next time on The Dark Sides of Rune Terror. <laughs>